Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, Apple just finished wrapping up their WWDC event, and I gotta say, there was a shocking announcement at the event. Now, they went over the typical things, the iOS update, new features, new widgets, whatnot, coming to the Mac, and as well, of course, the iPhones and iPad line. As well, they announced some new MacBooks. Now, there were some other announcements, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not heavily invested into the Apple ecosystem. I do own an iPad and that's pretty much it. I think I have Apple TV as well. Well, I subscribe to Apple TV Plus. Whatever the subscription program is for TV shows, I do have a subscription to it. But apart from that, I'm just not really invested into the ecosystem. I'm mostly a Samsung guy. But I gotta be honest with you guys, at the end of the event, they did reveal a device that really captivated me. And I think captivated gamers, uh, content creators, uh, media consumption people all around the globe. Now, of course, Apple finally announced its entry into mixed reality VR with a VR AR headset. And I gotta say, this may change a lot of things. Now, VR is kind of struggling to get mass adoption. Don't get me wrong, I think VR is awesome. I think the price to admission is a lot for some people. And because VR isn't a thing that you can describe, it's something you have to experience, it's hard to recommend it to somebody if you don't actually have a headset that they can try for themselves. Nonetheless, I am a strong supporter of VR. I have most of the headsets, I have it on most platforms, and it's just something that I really enjoy. Now, not too long ago, Microsoft was trying to come out with a HoloLens, which I was fortunate enough to try, and I gotta say, it was a pretty good device, but the field of view, it just wasn't good, and you weren't so immersed. You could really see the outside world, it was just not refined. I know there's other small companies that also try to come into the space and they do have some uh, devices out there that are relatively good, but this new device, the Apple Vision Pro, is going to take things to a whole nother level. And like I said, I'm not invested in the Apple ecosystem. So I'm not one of those guys that goes out there and just caps for Apple, but I was really impressed. Now this device fits on your head and it doesn't have a battery pack in it. A battery is attached from the side of the device, which goes into your pocket. So it's like a power bank with a long cord, which really is going to add to the comfort of the headset. Because if there's one complaint that I have on most of the headsets is that they are kind of front heavy. Now I have bought some third party or aftermarket stuff to put on my headsets to make it more comfortable, but you still feel like you're wearing a device. Now, my impression from this device is that it's very light and you're not gonna feel like you're really wearing anything, maybe like sunglasses, which is gonna add to the comfort, especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time in VR like they want you to with this Apple Vision Pro device. Now, it also projects your eyes. Now, I thought it was see-through and something was just, uh, being untinted so you can see your eyes, but actually it projects your eyes. So there's some cameras inside, there's some LED lenses, um, some LED lights, I should say, and they track your eyes. So if somebody looks at you, your eyes will reveal yourself. It knows when someone is close to you. I guess it has some proximity sensors on there and it will reveal your eyes and it's a projection of your actual eyes. I thought that was pretty cool. It also allows people to know when you're heavily immersed in VR, so maybe don't disturb you, to when you're just looking at something casually. And once again, when you're having a conversation with someone, it will reveal your eyes, and that is so cool. There is so much tech packed into this. The AR and VR capabilities of this device is awesome. Now, they showcased some media consumption where you're in a room and it'll automatically dim the lights. You can project it out to a 128-foot uh, screen, you can change the background so you could be out in space, you can be in the wilderness, and it's a seamless integration. And that looked incredible. That's what VR and AR really should be. And I gotta say that this is gonna really bring it mainstream. Now, the problem that I had is the price. Now, they revealed this at 3,499 US dollars. And this is where I say, Apple has just lost their mind. Now, I do believe this device is revolutionary. It's got a lot of tech in it. It looks really cool. You can watch 3D movies on this. So imagine having a 128 foot screen that is 3D. It'll appear that stuff is right in your living room, right in front of your face. I can just imagine how immersive that is. Also for 
productivity. You can do Zoom calls. You can do conference calls. You can have FaceTime and these people are in your space. It also scans your face, the headset, and allows you to have a digital representation of yourself that looks just like you and it's reacting to you because there's sensors inside the VR headset to read your emotions. That is pretty cool. I can't lie, this device really impressed me, but that 3,499 price tag, who is that for? Now that's US dollars in Canada, that's gonna be over $5,000. That is a hefty price. I do realize that there's a lot of technology in here and that this is going to kind of change the way we view VR and AR, I get it. And Apple, if anyone can do it, I'll say this, Apple can make VR mainstream. But at this price point, uh, it's like a proof of concept for me at this point. And I don't wanna take anything away from this device. It is an amazing device. You're getting higher than 4K resolution on each eyes. The pixel density is, incredible on this. You cannot see the pixels. They're using a specialized lens and it looks like it's some type of pancake lens. So you're not gonna have any type of screen door effect. This is basically the future, like Minority Report. This is some next level stuff. So I get it, but the price point of $3,499 has soured me right away on this device. I went from day one, oh my gosh, I gotta get this, what's the price gonna be, to oh my God, that's the price, I'm gonna have to pass on this. I'm gonna have to wait till I get it like used or something. This is ridiculous. And I want VR to become mainstream. And once again, we're running into the same problem, price of admission. Most people cannot afford $3,499 on a VR AR headset. And I don't think any AR VR headset is worth that price. Objectively, I could say, okay, maybe this is worth $1,500. I think $1,000 really, but let's say $1,500 just because it's Apple. But $3,500 US dollars, that's just an insane amount, even if the technology is groundbreaking. I just think it's an insane amount. And I know there's going to be some early adopters that just go out there and grab it. Of course, you're going to have content creators that grab it and a lot of devote Apple fans that will get it day one. But the mainstream people, the average user, the casual, they're not going to be able to afford this device. Once again, we run into the same problem of VR not penetrating the mainstream. I think if any company wants to truly succeed in VR, First, you gotta make a fantastic device with experiences that you cannot get anywhere else. Top of the line hardware, but it has to be at a reasonable price. And 3,500 US dollars, in my opinion, is nowhere near being a reasonable price. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. I think it's fantastic. The productivity um, that you can achieve with this device is crazy. You can use your laptop on this device. You can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with this device. You can use it to watch television. You can use it to play games. I believe over a hundred arcade games are gonna be supported at this at launch. You can customize your room to be anything you want it to be in your VR, AR space. And I just think it's a wickedly advanced device. However, the price is just too much for me and I believe for most people, it isn't coming out until next year, so maybe we'll get a price reduction. Maybe a lot of outlets will say, yes, this is a great device. However, that price is just too expensive, and maybe Apple will roll back that price a little bit. They like to price their products the way they do, and you don't traditionally see price drops for Apple devices, and at that price point, I don't know who's getting this. So hopefully things can change. Hopefully we can get maybe a device that's not as advanced, maybe doesn't have as much sensors, maybe a lower resolution at a cheaper price point. Were you impressed with the VR headset? Are you gonna get this VR AR headset day one? Let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.